Hello and welcome back to another video from Jerba Camper Vans. Now, I am now leaving Jerba, so today we're going to introduce you to Owen, who will be taking over the YouTube channel. Uh, Owen's going to ask me a few questions about what I'm up to, uh, and I'll ask him a few questions about what he's going to be up to here and where he sees the sort of channel going in the future. Thank you, Stevie. Um, I mean, definitely some pretty uh, massive shoes to, to stand in. Uh, 127 videos. 2.1 million views, um, 11,500 followers, definitely some progress uh, with the channel. I just wanted to basically, you know, I think it's important that um, we've had Stevie around for a long time, so I really wanted to kind of just find out from him, like, where's, he's get, where, where's he going, you know, and what, what's the plan? First and foremost, I do work as like a sort of digital marketing consultant. That's kind of the job I tell everyone about. Outside of that, I do own another business in Edinburgh, um, renting out photo booths to weddings. Um, Getting rid of that business though, because we have another project on the go through in Dunbar where we're trying to raise basically six million quid to build a big purpose built sort of community facility. So a lot of my time will be going into that. Uh, in terms of camera work and whatnot, uh, photography has always been a passion of mine, um, video work too. And I've been working a lot with Porsche, just kind of here and there, uh, doing videos of cool cars because I really like, I really like Porsches and Volkswagens and all that kind of thing. So. Just, just for fun mostly, but yeah, that's the plan. Well, that's really exciting. And as I said, you know, we, we're sad to see you leave, but always, you know, on to different things um, and um, things don't have to last forever for them to be still just as good. So that's, um, that's you know, but it's really exciting. What I think lots of people want to know is, you know, what, what's been like your favorite bit of, of all of the, the video stuff that you've done here and working with Gerber for, for as long as you have? Um, to be honest, I guess there's three things that I probably enjoyed most about working at Gerba. Uh, number one would have to be working with Jill in the office. Me and me and Jill are kind of a, a two-man band. Uh, spent a lot of time together, had a lot of laughs, um, kept each other going every day. So that's been super fun. But outside of that, really enjoyed working with Simon, who is um, who won you know Industry in Demand um, Director of the Year award last year. I am quite entrepreneurial, and he definitely is too. So learning a lot of what he has to teach about how to just be obsessed with your customers and all those kind of things has really just been so valuable for me. And I've applied that in every area of my life that I can. And I do believe it's what's, what's helped me get to where I'm at just now. So those are the things that I've, I've really taken from Jerba and I probably will take with me forever. Is there anything that you're gonna particularly miss? I mean, apart from cups of tea from Jill, um, yeah. is there anything else? Um, to be honest, it's a, pretty, it's a pretty sweet job, you know, making videos, taking photos of vans, uh, making content for all of the guys out there in the owners group and all of our owners and uh, you know when they come in and they they say thank you and you know you have like a small fan base who know who you are that's it can be quite a powerful thing in your life so I guess yeah and I when I started at Jerba many many years ago I uh, I used to work through in the schedule area so I was actually building vans so I've kind of done it all here worked my way through to kind of marketing positions so yeah, I've got a lot of memories that I'll, that I'll take with me. I kind of enjoyed it all, to be honest. I'm still working on my own camper van outside of this place too, so no wasted skills. How about I ask you a few questions? Far away. So I guess what you'll all want to know is who is Owen, where does he come from, and yeah, a little bit about you. I was born and brought up in Orkney on a tiny island up there um, where my parents farm sheep up there. It is just my family that live on the island, so hence being home educated until 14 as I was. I, I sound very English. Um, I've never actually lived in England, but if I was pushed and I was, you know, trying to blend in with some locals, you know, maybe in the pub on a Saturday night or something, then I can just do the switch. Um, but yeah, so so that's um, that's where I came from originally, and I moved away when I was 18. Um, and I moved straight to New Zealand, um, and I bought an absolute wreck of a Toyota Hiace. Um, which had done 400,000 kilometers when I bought it. Um, and oh, she was an absolute beaut, but um, yeah, um, she was, you know, last legs, I think, is an understatement. Um, but that's where my kind of love for vans um, came across. Since then, I've done all sorts of different things. I've worked in loads of different places. Um, I've worked as a professional DJ and I've worked for, a, for about six years as an estate agent. Um, but um, I've wanted to come work here for a long time, um, uh, partly because I want to get you know, into working with vans. I've, I've always loved vans and it's always been something that's in the back of my mind. And then when I kind of came across Gerba and I, I saw what Simon was doing, and then as soon as you realise the retention of how long people seem to stay working here, 
yeah, there's got to be something going right here. Um, and the, the sort of loyalty of the customer base as well. So, um, so excited to be to be here. That's very interesting. Sounds like you've had a very interesting sort of life so far. Um, I guess the guys on the other side of the screen would probably like to know if you've got anything interesting planned. Uh, what do you plan on doing with the channel? Any other sort of business, you know, developments that you can talk about? I know there's probably a lot that you can't talk about, but yeah, anything exciting? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, there's lots of things already kind of in, in the, the pipe work. Um, first of all, we have, um, in one of the most recent videos, we've launched doing um, habitation checks for Californias. Um, and recently, California, VW have released a new canvas, uh, which looks really smart. And the whole front of it opens up. Um, and unzip. So we've done a, I've done a video on um, replacing those canvases, and that's uh, one of the services that we are now going to offer going forward. So I've, I've made a video that uh, we're going to put up with that. But we've also got um, the show in the NEC in Birmingham um, just next month, um, and we are going to be promoting two real kind of big changes in the business. One of which is that we're going to be moving into. Uh, VW crafters. And one of the biggest things that I've done, which I've, I'm just about to release, is that I've done uh, virtual tours and 3D models of all of the three different crafter designs that we've got, um, which with a, an amazing camera, which, um, yeah, I mean, modern technology is uh, spectacular. And then also really exciting that we've, um, uh, we've signed a contract with Ford to now do their all new um, transit custom. Um, so we've got those going to be rolling off the line in the next sort of month or so. At the NEC show, I'm hoping there's going to be some prototypes that we can have a proper look around. But yeah, so there's lots coming, um, lots more that I won't go into just now. But yeah, I'm really, really excited about um, things going forward. That's uh, really exciting stuff uh, coming in the future. You know, uh, it'll be great for the channel to have someone new coming in with new, fresh ideas and a lot of new energy. Uh, putting that into it, making new stuff happen, and I, I'm sure that it will grow, you know, exponentially from here on out. Um, with all those things said, I know you've got loads of great ideas, so excited to see them when they do come out. But yeah, for me, I guess I just want to say a really, you know, a heartfelt thank you for everyone who subscribed and said nice things to me and made this what it is. You know, I pitched the idea to Simon um, sometime during lockdown or before it, just before it, and you know, he was a bit hesitant because he didn't know if it was going to be a great use of my time. But we've proven together that, you know, it can be such a powerful resource. You know teaching you guys about what we do here and giving you a kind of lens into the business and just ultimately showing you guys all the hard work and all the, you know, quality craftsmanship that goes into the product that we make here. It's so easy to make videos when the product is fantastic and the people really do genuinely, you know, feel passionate about what they do. So my bit was easy. I would say everyone else's bit's the important bit. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, I'm excited to, to see what you do with it. If you want to have a little look at the project that I'm working on in Dunbar, uh, just next to North Berwick here, check out the thespacedumbar.com. Uh, you'll get all the information you need there. It's a community interest company that's trying to do some pretty amazing stuff for our local community uh, and really give back uh, in the sort of disciplines that we're interested in. That's sort of skateboarding, rock climbing, uh, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, please do check that out. Uh, maybe Owen can link it down below in the description, but it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Listen, it's been a, an absolute pleasure and it's been great to meet you. And thank you very much, um, Steve, for coming in. Um, and uh, if I hear it from one more person when, uh, when we're speaking to customers, oh, I've been watching, uh, been watching the videos on YouTube. Yeah. Um, if I made a quid every time, I'd be a very wealthy man by now. But um, yeah, uh, thanks again, Stevie. Really, really do appreciate it. Pleasure, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll be back in touch. Cheers.